go on about this topic because I don't particularly find it interesting and I don't find it enjoyable. However, um, I do feel I've got to clear a couple of things up. I mean, firstly, I'd like to thank all of the Muslims that have that have uh, inboxed me. I've had over 10,000 inboxes today. Um, majority of the Muslims telling me um, from thank you to uh, to horrible things. Like some women were saying that before they watched my video earlier, they were actually scared to come out of their house today. And that made me think, you know. And then I've seen some of the horrible, nasty comments and abuse from some of you that are unfucking educated. And I, I, I feel like I need you to open your eyes. You know, I feel like, I feel sorry for you because you wasn't born that way. You've been taught that way and you're blind. Um, you, you have a disability. I feel sorry for you. I feel like I need to sh show you something and explain something. And from the replies from some of the Muslims that you're abusing, um, it seems like they feel sorry for you too. They don't hate you. We don't hate you. I just want to point out a couple of things. Um, you've got two issues that everyone keeps bringing up. The Muslims that are born in this country and the Muslims that aren't. Let's take the Muslims that aren't born in this country. They are watching their home being torn apart. Probably their families killed. They see England as a safe haven, for argument's sake. They come to England to make a better life for themselves. They don't speak a word of fucking English. And this family that have made it are scared. They're fucking scared. They're in a foreign country after seeing their country being torn apart, their family murdered, where they can't speak a word of our language, and they're scared. All they can see is people stopping in the street, pointing and talking about them. And then when they do learn our language, they suddenly understand exactly what it is you lot are pointing and saying about them. So they're even more scared. They wish they never fucking came to England. They wish they never fucking learned our language. And then you've got the Muslims that were born here. And you think, ah, oh, well, they haven't had their country torn apart. They don't really know what it's like. Yeah, they do, but in a different way. They're born here, which means they've suffered abuse all the way through school. They've been spat at, they've been called names. They've had their clothes pulled off them. They've been humiliated. They've probably watched their families be humiliated. Their mums and dads. Now a child's father should be his hero. Should be nobody bigger, tougher or harder than his father. I bet a few Muslims out there have seen their fathers being bullied, picked on, spat on in front of them. Probably can remember the abuse. Probably get stones thrown at their houses every time there's a terrorist attack in England. So... You have to really, really, really think before you open your mouth, before you comment. So when you say things like, they keep themselves themselves, they don't make an effort to integrate with us, integrate with the community, would you? Because if I was them, and I get shouted at, spat at, I've been punched, pushed and kicked and seen my family be abused, I wouldn't want to fucking talk to you either. And then you get some of the comments. Well, they don't allow their children to mix with our children. Really? That's probably because you're an uneducated fucking prick from a scumbag family who raised their children wrong. Your parenting skills could probably be a, leave a lot to be desired. I wouldn't want my children mixing with your children either. I very, very much doubt there's a Muslim family that would see their Muslim child playing with a non-Muslim child. Open their door and start kicking them off and shooing them off like they're fucking animals. I've very much doubt. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. Unless that child is a bad influence on theirs. And in that case, they'll be doing just what any other fucking parent would be doing. You don't want your children mixing with the wrong sort. It's got nothing to do with race. Nothing to do with religion. Now my uncle, my uncle Nicky, he's black. It's a sad thing that I have to point out that this is relevant. He told me and my brother about a month ago, we were talking about respect. And he said, boys, respect is an automatic given. It's a human right. All this respect should be earned. It's rubbish. Respect should be given. It's disrespect that's earned. And he's right. I think Nelson Mandela said something about... Um, 
people aren't born racist, they're taught it. And that is why you uneducated people that are putting these derogatory comments online, on posts, on my fucking video, that's why I feel sorry for you. Because it genuinely isn't your fault. It's not. Now, maybe if you took a bit of responsibility, you're saying that these Muslims down the street in that mosque, they don't integrate with the community? Okay, okay. Maybe you should get your fucking wife off of Facebook, your fucking kids off of their PlayStation, and you should take them down the road. Knock on the door of the mosque. And when the guy opens, say, hi, my name's Paul. This is my wife, Susan. This is my son, Zach, and this is my daughter, Bethany. Um, I don't want my children growing up in ignorance. I just thought I'd come over and introduce myself uh, and find out exactly what all this is about. And maybe if um, somebody has time over the next week, if now isn't convenient, somebody could show us around and give us a bit of a tour. And then offer your hand out. Because when you do that, that's an international sign of peace. Now, the Muslim that opens the door might open the door with a frown, which you can't blame him because he's going to be wary at first. But the moment you come out with that sentence and the moment you offer that peace gesture, I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm willing to bet a lot of money that he will shake your hand. And do you want to know the weird thing? I reckon he's got a teapot in the mosque too. I reckon they got a kettle. I reckon they're that modern. I reckon Muslim women are just as bossy as non-Muslim women. I reckon Muslim kids are just little fuckers, just like non-Muslim kids. And I reckon the Muslim dads have just as much of a sick sense of humour as me, you and everybody else. In fact, if you did that, I reckon you'll probably even make a friend. A friend for life. That's right. You know what? A lot of you started following me because of um, the video that I did that went viral about my daughter being bullied at school. And I got a lot of support from that and she got over it. So if you have seen that video, um, you'll realise that Aaliyah is a very well educated, very polite, very well mannered young lady. She's eight years old. Um, and I'm going to practice what I preach. I've had so many Muslim people out there um, that have contacted me saying to me um, uh, thank you and showing, you know, and, and thanking me for showing my support. I would like um, one of you, a few of you, doesn't matter what part of the country it is, I'm willing to travel, to invite me and my daughter to, um, to go and look around the mosque, come and play with your kids, have a cup of tea and allow me to film it so I can show you guys and girls that are uneducated that Muslims don't bite. You know, I don't even want to hate you. They don't want to hate you. We want to educate you. And that's not me um, being patronising. I mean it. I mean, if this, I've got a massive following. Look, I've got, what, 600,000 viewers across the world? You know, if I did this, then I've got to be able to change a few of yours, uh, your, your opinions. So I want to do that. And I'll use my daughter as an example. Because I'm pretty sure a Muslim isn't going to eat her. So, if you can do that, that would be great. Um, I'll be grateful to accept the request, and if it's okay to film in there, um, and maybe we could do a couple of videos, and you can explain to people um, on the best way to maybe make conversations with yourselves, then I think that's a positive thing around. But even you guys and girls that have put some of the hatred comments on today, I don't even believe, deep down, if there was a Muslim woman being attacked in the street, you'd just walk past and leave it. Do you know why I don't believe that? It's because you're British. Yeah, we have it in us to help people. That's what we do. Soldiers, wars. Okay, I don't know the reason why the politicians go to war. They might have a different fucking agenda. I don't talk about them. But people that join the army are there for a fucking good cause to help others fight all enemies, foreign or domestic. I know this because I have a lot of soldiers that follow me. After the video today, I've even had a lot of soldiers inbox me saying thank you for getting that message across. 
So I don't believe for one minute, even the ones out there that hate on these people because of their faith, I don't believe for one minute you would allow a child to be beaten up in the street and walk past. You would still help because it's in your DNA. It's what makes us British, right? But what I'm, what I'm disgusted about is it's also in our DNA to make people feel welcome. And from the comments I've seen today and the posts, us as British people are making other British born people feel uncomfortable in their own home. This land is their home. Yeah? We're making them feel uncomfortable in their own fucking home. That's not good. And the ones, the Muslims that aren't born in England, born in, in the UK, they're visitors. We're also making visitors to our country feel uncomfortable. That isn't what we do. When we invite somebody into our house, we don't make them feel uncomfortable. We make them feel welcome. That's what being British is about, yeah? You speak to the Americans, love British people, because that's what we're about. We make people feel fucking welcome. And look what we're doing. We're doing it to other British people. Just because they choose to wear different clothes to us or choose to believe in something. It doesn't matter. Who are we to tell somebody else what they can and can't do? You know, you've seen my, my other videos, issues with the police and, and stuff. I don't have an issue with the police. Never have. I have issues with individuals that feel that they have to use their power or use themselves to try and tell people what they can and can't do when it's wrong. It's wrong. So, hopefully, um, hopefully the right message has come across. And again, I thank you for, uh, I thank you for taking the time to, to watch the videos and I just hope some of you will just think before you speak and think before you act because um, deep down this isn't what we're about. This isn't what our soldiers are fighting for. You know, we're destroying ourselves and these fucking idiots, these terrorists are winning. They're winning. See, when you watch these documenta documentaries and you, you see these, uh, these extremists preaching in the street, you see people walking past, ignoring them. But when something happens, you see people attacking and bullying Muslims. Why don't you just attack and bully the people that are preaching this shit instead of walking past them in the street? Attack the people that are guilty, not bully the ones that aren't. That's all I've got to say on the map. Hope you all have a good day.